So this right here is based on a true story, ladies and gentlemen. No, we're not talking about the BBC Samurai situation in this video. We're talking about Black Myth Wukong. And this story is so wild. Of course, we had the uh, Assassin's Creed situation with Ubisoft. We had Star Wars Outlaw situation. The game's looking so bad versus we got black myth wukong which collectively everybody's saying that looks good and i've seen gameplay because the word of word of mouth is spreading around and a lot of people are loving it but apparently they're trying to cancel it guys like the video if you think they're two genders dislike the video if you think they're five thousand genders now i want to give you context so this happened a little while ago but get ready i want to show you what happened today all right roll it how black myth wukong developers history of sexism is complicating its journey to the west what but beneath the luster of this Souls-like studio is a studio plagued by claims of sexism. Several posts have surfaced on Chinese media site written by individuals from the studio that contain multiple references to an innuendo. This has provoked backlash about some people in the games community, many of whom are women. This is the most retarded article I've ever read in my life. <laughs> Context. IGN <laughs> published an article trying to smear the company and the devs behind Black Myth Wukong as some sexist freaks. The gamers are saying nothing but good things about this game because the gameplay is looking really creative, first of all. Graphically speaking, looking amazing, man. Like, I've seen the actual gameplay and it does look very good. And I hope this game blows the hell up, okay? And this is why they don't like it, right? Because the, these suckers apparently uh, also said no to Sweet Baby Yang, so they don't want to make their game gay essentially that that's what that's where we at Bruh. they don't want to make their game gay they don't want sweet baby ink involvement they just want to make games for the gamers right and, and this is why they're mad we're gonna get down to what happened but uh -oh, i'll wait for this one because of some of their employees social media posts the article cites one of their artists who basically did the still wood <laughs> meme about this monster <laughs> the problem is that this game journalist <laughs> either by sheer incompetence or malice translated these posts in the most uncharitable way possible and this is nothing compared Compared to the most egregious mistranslation after one of the game company founders posted this in 2020 apologizing for the lackluster trailer of black myth wukong just released now how on what? earth do you get i want to expand my circle and hire more people get licked until i can't get an erection <laughs> <laughs> what? what oh man want to expand the circle and no way the actual translation completely changes the meaning of what he was saying. Not satisfied, I went back checking if anyone called this out when it happened, and they did. I can't believe that there's a person like this that has access. IGN needs to have this person writing guides on the banana game. Maybe they could handle that. Please. These suckers apparently gave, uh, if I'm not missing, okay, no, I think I'm gonna exaggerate, but I wouldn't be shocked if these suckers gave She Hulk 10 out of 10. From what I heard, they gave. She Hulk 8 out of 10. Still bad though, like. <laughs> but, but, like, damn, man. Like, this suck is crazy. Finally, gamers are like, this game is amazing. Yeah, this game is amazing. And these suckers, of course, cannot. They don't want to see gamers being happy. It looks like that they don't want good games, man. That's, that's what it. W w they always offended over. What? It's a game, damn it. It's a game that people are liking it, man. And it's creative one. It's one that that's that's actually creative. Please take the keyboard away from this person. The featured images and headlines that point to a culture ingrained in sexism in game science. Recruitment posters by the studio. Do we have a link to the recruitment posters? We do not. We don't need to know every video game character's sexuality. Sexuality. It's it ain't even about that. Just make a good game, bro. That's it. It, it, that's it simple as that why y'all suck is so infatuated with making like non-straight uh characters in the game like this character gotta be this that character gotta be that this and that just make a good game that's it this is unbelievable in the eyes oh here we go ign spoke to several women familiar with gaming culture as well as the games and technology industry in china many of whom requested to be anonymous for fear of backlash from fans of game science in the eyes of many female gamers has a notably negative reputation citation needed you can see how this person is trying desperately to avoid a defamation lawsuit plagued by claims of sexism some Rare in the games community, many of whom are women, in the eyes of many female gamers. So every single Bruh. statement that's made is made with a qualifier that basically avoids legal liability. Well, guys, I was already going to buy the game, but I think now I might have to buy it twice. 
You know what? I was not looking to buy, but maybe I'll buy. Because it does look very, very good. It does look very good, but uh-oh! Shout, shout, like, shout out to the homie Endymion. Shout out to the homie Endymion. Roll it. What's up, everyone? It's Endymion, this is what and today wait we got it. quite a bit to go. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. And you know what? This is something that I covered in the last video. We got a Japanese chick reaction to Assassin's Creed gameplay, where she where she saw her, his, uh, her culture being destroyed by Ubisoft, the history being destroyed. I'll just play this tiny clip, but I covered this in the last video, but it was hilarious, so. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I'm not laughing at her, but you know what I mean, right? Let me all- Okay, this video is not about Assassin's Creed. Let me just play this. Go over from Black Myth Wukong absolutely blowing up in woke freak's faces as it soars across the charts making all the money in the world. Beyond this, we have a deranged article from the gamer that I need to talk about that is so stupid, you have to see it. And okay. then I'll talk about the Borderlands movie and how Gearbox's owner Randy Pitchford is going insane over the negative backlash and box office implosion. Firstly, okay. Black Myth Wukong, the game many of yeah, us- Yeah, like the, the Deadpool and Wolverine movie I went to see, it was actually pretty good. Uh, a lot of people like it, liking it, so that that's the reason why they are hating it. So they are hating, they're attacking Deadpool and Wolverine. Uh, Marvel has been- in in like what in such a disastrous state for so much uh, so long and finally they decided to make a good movie for the fans fans love it and they hate it they hate it go figure go figure must have been waiting for is almost here as of the making of this video it's not quite out yet it's nine days from release when this video comes out but it's coming and it's looking yeah. to be one of the biggest hits of the year as it's been confirmed as seen here via pc games black myth wukong soars on steam days ahead of launch the game is currently the number one selling game on Steam, and it is also Holy. within the top five most pre-ordered games on PlayStation right now among- Deserved! Deserved! I've seen the gameplay, uh, people were going crazy on Twitter, and I was like, uh, I don't think it would look as that good, maybe people are just joking around, and I went to see it. Holy crap, like, it does look very good. It does other look giants, very good. Deserved. like Call of Duty Black Ops 6 as well. It's safe to say that Wukong is going to be a now among other giants, like Call of Duty Black Ops 6 as well. It's safe to say that Wukong is going to be a mega hit, although reviews are of course not out yet. And this is what is worrying me because every single article that I read about Wukong that I researched for this video, I'm not kidding you, pretty much all of them attempt to slander the game's reputation based on baseless accusations. For example, in this same PC Games article, they randomly say near the bottom, However, Black Myth Wukong hasn't been without controversy. IGN's 2023 report exposed a history of sexism at game science, including allegations against staff in leadership roles. This IGN report is following Wukong like it's their own shadow at this point. Yet as I previously reported a month or two ago already, Wukong's devs have denied all accusations, and the people who are pushing this, even in China where game science is located, have been exposed already to be woke freaks who are drunk on the Western Kool-Aid. The part that's the most damning and annoying about the situation is that it's very clear that Western games journalists are attempting to sully and ruin Wukong's reputation and image yeah. prior to release because the game doesn't adhere to their theories or their politics. As I also reported before, Wukong's death- it, 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 Video games are all about p pushing politics nowadays, man. If your game doesn't push politics, then in my books it's bad, is what iGen is saying and what these uh, Western outlets are saying. Uh, are saying. It's pathetic, man. It's uh, It definitely is pathetic. Damn, bro. Like, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like this two years ago, three years ago. Uh, I mean, it's it started out like it was starting. I mean, I would say after the the last was two was basically the first first game where it started. So that game came out in 2020. So I would say yeah, it's been like four years, but it wasn't like it still wasn't like this three years ago, right? It, now it's happening with every game. If your game does not push politics, then it's bad. It's trash. We're gonna go and accuse it. We want this game canceled. This and that uh, and all that. Devs allegedly rejected Sweet Baby Inc. wanting to work on the game with them in order to translate the game's themes and story better for a Western audience. Instead, Game Science told Sweet Baby to get lost, and it's no coincidence ever since then that IGN and many, many other outlets have been running this sexism story since. I am fully expecting Wukong to get lower reviews than it normally would because Game Science wouldn't play ball with Sweet Baby or these journalists with their baseless accusations. These journalists likely understand that the only way that they can conceivably damage Wukong's momentum is by slapping a low score on it to divert fan support. And I'm here to tell you that take the reviews from places like IGN when this game does come out, especially with wide-eyed skepticism, because they are openly pushing an agenda against this game constantly. Sadly, it's not the only time this has been happening. There was a notorious preview article. He ain't lying though! He ain't lying! He is not lying on this one. He ain't lying. Article about Wukong from TheGuardian.com, where they spent the entirety of the article pretty much just praising the game, saying that its combat is amazing. The bosses are great, there's tons of variety in the forms that you can take on and so on. Yet like PC games, IGN and so many others, The Guardian then decided it was due time to derail the conversation and go the old sexism route again. Just the name of The Guardian's article is pure cope. Black Myth Wukong, the summer's most exciting and most controversial video game. 
again how it, how is it even controversial i'm seeing nothing but praise for this game right now this beautiful looking action game is based on journey to the west the great chinese novel but its own journey to release has hit a bump in the road <laughs> 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 yeah these like is crazy man yeah oh of course they don't want to see a good game out man of course they don't want to see a good game out damn it yeah i wouldn't be shocked if this game isn't even nominated in game of the years yeah i wouldn't be shocked if yeah right like is not controversial whatsoever they are I, I i would be shocked if star wars outlaws is not like game of the year i i can see assassin's Creed shadows being game of the year i can see star wars outlaws being game of the year yeah 10 out of 10. oh you think is hating oh too bad it's game of the year it's probably gonna win all the all the awards man if if star wars outlaws just win one award bruh like damn bro like it, it's work we're, we're gonna we're gonna know it's rigged if it all if it even wins one award so I would say Assassin's Creed looks a little bit better, but hey man, I'm not working with much here, right? I'm only comparing Assassin's Creed with, with Star Wars Outlaws. Star Wars Outlaws looks absolutely pathetic. It looks like, it looks worse than a PS3 game. So if it wins even one award, you know it's rigged. ...are basing this controversy over botched translations that were being perpetuated by a single IGN journalist named Rebecca Valentine. None of these claims hold any water. Yet The Guardian is trying to push Wukong as the year's most controversial game. Like, what? If anything, there's far more controversial games for other reasons that actually matter and have been proven as fact. Helldivers 2 comes to mind with the PSN login issue and how Arrowhead knew prior to launch that it would eventually be needed for Steam users, but they decided to omit that information in order to secure as many sales as humanly possible before they imploded. Or what about Suicide Squad, which ended up effectively killing Rocksteady and ruining the Arkham <laughs> franchise by injecting woke feminist nonsense and yeah. being one of the Ground Zero accounts for the whole Gamergate 2 I, I guess this is what they want. They want studios getting shut down, though, because I love to win studios get shut down. I love it when they lose $200 million. Damn, man, y'all suck as could have given that money to your fan base and your fan base would have been happy instead of mm, spending that much and wasting that much money on this abomination of a game bro situation and sweet baby ink explosion those games i would wager were and still are far like the video if you agree are more controversial in terms of what actually defines what that word even means in the first place Facts. saying that wukong is controversial because rebecca valentine of ign can't read chinese properly because she hired a random chinese intern to help her interpret who by the way <sighs> ign still hasn't paid that chinese translator yet for their work on the article doesn't exactly equate to a verifiable source of good honest information even back in june the mary sue read a similar article stating that wukong is the year's most controversial game based on information that also has no actual source that has yet been proven I would say that's controversial that they hired uh they hired her and did not pay her. That's controversial actually, right? Uh, Suicide Squad Studio getting shut down. Of course that is controversial. That's mega controversial. How is this game that is looking good and people are saying nothing but good things about it? Now for sure you can say that if you don't like what you see, you can 100% say you don't like it, right? That's fair. That's fair. This game is not going to be for everybody. That's understandable. That's fair. But people that are watching it are saying nothing but good things about it. That's that's not controversial, bro. That's not controversial. Proven true. Like, just listen to what the Mary Sue says here, dude. This is crazy. Again, remember that these claims are baseless, and I quote, In November of 2023, IGN published a deep dive into toxic, unprofessional work environment rife with misogyny and fat phobia, Cultivated at Black Myth Wukong what? Studio Game Science, a report made by anonymous workers at the studio revealed multiple male employees making horrible sexist remarks like a friends with benefits perk listed on a job recruitment poster, fatty should F off was written on another poster. If that wasn't gross enough, there's more. Developers at the studio also said that women shouldn't be allowed to play games made by the company, insisting that there are biological differences between men and women in terms of skill level. That level of misogynistic behavior should not be tolerated by anyone, especially given how bad the gaming industry is to women already. One female Chinese game designer speaking under the alias of Jen commented on the situation, telling IGN's Rebecca Valentine and Ki Hoon Chan, these male developers have never paid the price for their misogynistic remarks. In their eyes, women don't deserve respect, even just listening to them is considered pandering, a marketing tactic, and catering to Western political correctness. I can't describe how despairing this feels, end quote. Honestly, okay. it feels as if the game's journalists are trying to turn Wukong into the next Hogwarts Legacy level event in terms of controversy. They're trying yeah. so damn hard to disparage and ruin- And you know what? This is, uh, pe people are loving the game already, people are watching the gameplay, and people are being impressed by it. And this controversy, uh, this controversy, you trying to cancel the game, you trying to uh, say all that. What what this is gonna do is it's gonna make people buy more and more. So it's gonna help the game even even more. Oh, yeah, it's gonna help the game even more.
ruin this game's reputation simply because game science won't play ball with them, and it's crazy. Again, like I said, the translations were mistranslated, and Chan has still not been paid by IGN for the work that they did on that article. Yet this journalist Rebecca Valentine is pushing these words she can't even read without a translator as gospel herself. It's crazy. It would be like me saying that Rocksteady when they made Batman Arkham Knight or Asylum or City, that they sent a man dressed as Batman to my house to beat me senseless because they don't like me. And even though that I have zero <laughs> evidence of this happening, you have to believe me, otherwise you're somehow a sexist bigot. Like, are we really getting to the point where these journalists are attempting to write fabricated stories out of thin air in order to form narratives that benefit them? Are the voices in their heads telling them to write that Wukong is bad because game science is based? Did Khalif yeah. Adams help with these articles? Because it sounds like it. At this point, I wouldn't be surprised if- Uh, sh uh shout out to game science. <laughs> Shout out to, shout out to Game Science. Black Myth Wukong ends up getting ignored come any award season this fall, the same way that Hogwarts yeah. Legacy did as well. If you That's hadn't crazy. noticed, every single- That, that is crazy. That is absolute 100% facts. Hogwarts Legacy should have won awards, right? And it did not. I believe it didn't even win a single award. That's crazy. When did Stellar Blade came out? I believe uh, Stellar Blade came out uh, May or April. I believe it was in April. So yeah, uh, Stellar Blade, I I'll say this like, a lot of good things about it the story wasn't that good but people like the gameplay and all that story wasn't that good uh so uh, but it, it, it of course it's uh, stellar blade is not game of the year but it should win some awards but it's probably gonna win none single game pretty much across the board that is this fall the same way that hogwarts legacy did as well if you hadn't Th thank you for subscribing appreciate it noticed every single game pretty much across the board that is nominated in any way shape or form at any of these websites they all pretty much have a bias towards supporting what the industry finds important diversity yeah. equity inclusion strong female characters and usually evil white men the only outliers these past few years come award season is pretty much anything that is made by from software and, and, and don't forget whenever they add a black guy in the game they always make them gay yeah you guys notice that like they always make a black person gay that that's crazy bro that is ludicrous man that's racism right there big time Whenever there's a black guy in the game, they always make him gay. Yasuke, prime example, they made this uh, off of a real-life guy, real-life Yasuke. He was not gay, and I said it numerous times. If the real-life person was gay, then totally makes sense. Then totally makes sense. He was not, but they still made him gay, though. So ask yourself this, why they do that. They they want to they wanna just check marks after check marks, right? They want to do that. Where? Because they're so good that even the woke activist Cabal can't ignore FromSoft's brilliance. But it's why I think Hogwarts Legacy was not nominated for anything at all, because you don't just ignore the highest selling game of 2023? That beat Call of Duty for God's sakes for no Facts. reason. It's because it was based on Harry Potter, which of course is made by J.K. Rowling. No, Hogwarts Legacy wasn't snubbed by the Game Awards. It was. It was. And I can almost guarantee you that come this year that Wukong will suffer the same fate. They will review it lower on purpose to dissuade players from buying it. Then they'll use those lower scores to justify why it was not nominated for anything either, saying that it just simply wasn't good enough. Yep. Yeah, perhaps IGN is gonna give it like 6 out of 10 or 7 out of 10. That's like peasant scoring from them, right? If IGN gives a game 6 or 7 out of 10, then it's bad. If they give it like 4 out of 10, that means it's 0 out of 10, actually. Yeah, but if they give it... Yeah, like, uh, every other thing, 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, but yeah, this game is probably gonna get 6 or maybe even 5, you never know, bro. Yeah, we both know, if Wukong seven, accepted Sweet seven. Baby, they would be- Realistically, I can see them give it 7. It depends, though, it depends. If this controversy is against, uh, it, it goes crazy against IGN, they're probably gonna give it 7, maybe even 8, but- if not, then I can I, I wouldn't be surprised if they give it like five or six, man. You cannot spell ignorant without saying uh, without IGN. So praising this game and showering it with gifts and awards, because it's a really big club, and you and I and Wukong apparently we're not allowed in it. Like this is so ridiculous. Listen to what the Guardian said during their interview with Wukong's devs when they got to play it, and I quote: "I am unfortunately met with very little honest communication when I bring up a report from IGN which related alleged sexist comments from multiple developers at Game Science as well as those in leadership roles." I present Ted with the opportunity to address the claims of misogynistic posts and whether he feels that they represent game science's values. Instead, I am shut down with a hasty no comment from their UK PR representative and then after a long wait given a longer statement of no comment via Ted's translator. I am then told that Game Science's US PR agency will follow up later with a prepared statement only to send the following. Game Science is focused on the demo at this time and will only answer questions related to gameplay. The okay. same thing happened to an IGN reporter at a demo in Los Angeles last month. It is disappointing that Game Science is opting to invite journalists to speak to them and play the game but refusing to answer their questions. Perhaps there is no reassurance to offer a generous reading of the situation would be that this inexperienced studio is petrified of saying the wrong thing. Yet in failing to say anything at all, Game Science is also failing to distance itself and its game from the multiple crew disparaging and misogynistic comments attributed to its employees and leadership, end quote. Zero actual evidence, botched mistranslations, and a fabricated narrative, and they're still beating Game Science over the head to respond to something they have no proof of happening. Yeah, that, that's wild. That's wild. Let me know your thoughts, and guys, check out this video on the screen. This is what recently happened as well. 
Man, that Japanese chick goes crazy on Assassin's Creed once she sees the gameplay, alright? Like, her reaction was crazy, and we also had Star Wars Outlaws, and we had a ton of other stuff that we covered in the video. Check this video out, and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, man. We had some good news about GTA 6.